Hi, I'm Dr. George Northrup. I'm a psychiatrist and addictions medicine specialist based in Tampa, Florida. Today we're talking about how to cure a chemical imbalance. Let's start with the phrase chemical imbalance. This is an amorphous and ill-defined phrase, and so it's not of much use to us. Now, that doesn't stop people from coming to my office and saying, hey, doc, do I have a chemical imbalance? Usually what they're asking me is, do I have a mental health problem and can you help me with it? The answer to that is usually yes. Now, when people start referring to chemical imbalance, oftentimes they're wondering about medication. And there are a lot of conditions that potentially can be helped by medication. Again, I'm not saying that that means somebody has a chemical imbalance per se, because that's an ill-defined term. But there are a number of conditions for which medication can be helpful. Those include depression or depressive disorders, bipolar disorder, anxiety disorders, chemical dependency, etc. I'll use an example. I've seen people who will come in and say that their mood has dropped off quite drastically, that they have started having crying spells, that their appetite is not right or that food doesn't taste very good, or even that they've started to have thoughts about death, dying, or even killing themselves. Now sometimes this will happen in the absence of any obvious stressor or precipitant to these feelings, in which case we might call that an endogenous or coming from within depression. This might be one example of what somebody might call a chemical imbalance where there's an obvious mental health problem there's no outside source leading to that problem, so we say it comes from within. So that's a time somebody might use the phrase chemical imbalance. And that we can help. There are a number of other problems I mentioned earlier, such as bipolar disorder, anxiety disorders, etc., cetera, uh, for which there is relief uh, through the use of medications. Although not all mental health problems require medications, uh, some mental health issues can be more easily resolved with various forms of therapy, such as cognitive behavioral therapy.